one. And I'm going to skip that one to last. The next one, I'm going to go for the game cart itself. It's hard to tell, but it's actually not in line here. I mean, you can probably see a gap there. This is actually not put together very well. I'm either thinking that the previous owner has thrown it against the wall and has broken it. Well, this is just how it was in the factory. I do not know, but the game cart is screwed beyond belief there. Okay, next one. An anniversary mode, you get the super spin. Well, that was a sonic spin. It adds absolutely nothing to the game, so I never bothered using it. Because it just doesn't add anything to the game. It's not fast, it's not helpful, it's just not anything. Yeah. Next one. The capsule at the end of every level which you press after beating Robotnik. It always had the same two bloody animals in it. It was always the bluebirds and the chickens. And what's more, even the badniks had the same two animals. You go into Labyrinth Zone, you, beat, you kill one of the badniks there, and a bloody bird flies out. And it's underwater. What the hell is up with that? I couldn't find any more animals. The animations are exactly the same. It's the exact same two animals all the way through the game. Ridiculous. This one. In the Labyrinth Zone, there is no boss music. It just carries on with the Labyrinth Zone music. Why? I do not know. And also I found that waterfall right at the end there. That wasn't even animated at one point. God, what a burp. I just had Frosties. <coughs> oh, here we go. Uh, next one. The special stages are crummy. The, the just physics in it is just screwed up beyond belief. I mean, the Sonic jumps too fast. Busts through the diamond things too fast. It just doesn't feel right and it's hard to control. And it's When you hit the goal, it doesn't make this noise it should do. And it's just all messed up. The special stages are just messed up. It's hard to explain them. Next one. After Scrap Brain Zone Act 2, when you go to a bonic, you're supposed to get the, a noise that goes do 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 and like that, like boss music. In this, you get absolutely nothing. You get no music, you get no sound effects, you get nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Sod all. And of course, we've got to go for the last one. The biggest problem with this game by a country mile is the slowdown. This game is slow from start to finish. And it is so unbearable. It completely, I mean, it just completely mucks up everything. Sonic runs slower than he did in Sonic Labyrinth at times. It really does. And once you get to the Labyrinth Zone in this, wow. But that wasn't even the best, slowest he ran in this. Scrap Brain Zone at 1. I swear to God, when he was on those spinning platforms, that was the slowest this game got. It hardly moved. And it really screwed up with the music as well. Like in Labyrinth Zone, when you're drowning, you get the whole drowning music. Unfortunately, because of the slowdown, the music actually ended when there were still 3 seconds of drowning to go. So then the music just sort of cut off and you got absolutely nothing and you just sort of stood there waiting for the bubbles. But oh, that's another point. The sound effects in this game, they're terrible. Nothing sounds as though it should. You get a bubble, it doesn't sound good. Nothing sounds good. It's just all crummy and crap and rubbish. <sighs> but another problem with slowdown? I found it, I found that at times when you're jumping, for just a split second, it would actually suddenly speed up. Unfortunately, it would actually push you forwards. So Marble Zone, I was trying to jump carefully, get past the lava pits. And unfortunately, the game just, just decided, no, I'm going to speed up now. And it pushed me into the lava. And so I'll lose shields or I'll lose wings. All because the game decided it wants to temporarily speed up. Oh... <laughs> Like this, the slowdown just kills the game completely and it mucks up the end credits with the music and the timing and it just... Yeah, you, know, like you can just tear your hair out with it. So all in all, this game, it kind of sucks. 
And this came out along the same time as Sonic Goose. Well, if, if you played this this game and say Sonic 06 as your first two Sonic games, you would never play a Sonic game again. You really wouldn't. You wouldn't even touch the original Mega Drive version of this. This game just really, really kicks your childhood right in the face. And it doesn't care. And I heard it was only made by one person and they used the Sonic Rush engine and just slapped a Sonic 1 code on it or something, I don't know. But more time needed to be put in with this. I mean, when you complete the anniversary mode, I noticed you unlocked a jukebox thingy, but I don't really want to listen to that music again. It's butchered beyond belief. I don't want to listen to it again. Hey. Anyway, that's my little rant about it. I'm okay with having it, at least. Uh, at least I can say I've completed my Game of Advance part of the Sonic project. You'll make the Sonic Project Collection update at the end of the year look good. <sighs> oh my god. Oh, I'm not playing you again. Anyway, I'm going to go charge my camera up and then just see if I can find fiddle around the camera and then maybe get down to some filming of something or other. I tested out on something else before I did Paper Mario, but for now this has been a rant and you've been you, I've been me. See you soon.